Hello everyone, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Last time we left off, we made it to the Groundbreaker and explored a tiny bit. This area seems massive, so we're going to continue today. Also, is this still a Sprat? It looks different. It's not green. What are you, little buddy? Huh. It's back here. More Sprats. And a grate that I can seemingly go into. I'm interested in the, the fact that they have ladders, just kind of chilling. I guess people have to actually climb ladders to traverse here. Which is interesting. Getting a bit of a workout, going up a ladder anytime you want to go somewhere. Rizzo's. Ooh. It's like pink armor. Whoa, excuse me? That helmet is incredibly defensive. 29? Wow. That's the light. That's the light helmet. That one's not super great. But 29 armor is ridiculous. Increase body armor and helmet armor ratings against physical damage. Mag 2 power. Okay, yeah, that just makes it. Alright, so I don't really care about anything in there. Who are you? Hello. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Resting. Sorry. <laughs> Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a questionable joke, but uh, it, it, it was uh, okay. Not the worst I've ever heard. I'm looking for Gladys. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. I see. So, first unit on the left. Okay. How's life on the Groundbreaker? Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. I see. Uh, I already know how Groundbreaker keeps the board at bay. You mentioned Sublight. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Do you do business with the promenade merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. A creepy fellow in the moon mask. I'm, guess he, I'm guessing he's talking about the like mascot character that we've been seeing a lot of. How does the... Well, let, let's ask it. We exhausted all the rest of his dialogue. How does Groundkeeper... How does Groundbreaker keep the board at bay? Our chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. I see. I'll be on my way. So now we got some background on that. So yeah, there's two. Hey, Ephraim. Uh, I know a character name uh, with your name from Fire Emblem. Oh, I'm sorry. Was this your room? I'll just move along. Wait, this is almost certainly my room. That's my underwear on the floor. I don't see shit, man. I don't see any underwear. Liar. So you got anything good to swipe? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe some armor parts. But no, I have plenty of those, I believe. So, I know the character we have to talk to is in there, but what was the deal with this? Yes, hello. Seen you limping a bit. You alright, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. No, Sparvity's so wholesome. Alright, is this another book? 
Squatter's Journal. I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening. To then, I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full-timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless, and bedless. As far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees to take me on as crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Well, I need to find this character, apparently. Because I could use some crew. Also, I see red dots on the map, but I have no idea where those are. Interesting. And now I'm robbing this poor person. I'll, I'll let you keep your alcohol, though. Consider it a peace offering for when you join my crew. Maybe. If I can find out exactly where you're hanging out. If this did end up leading to one of the five characters, it seems, that you can get in this game, that would have been crazy. Just a little hole in the wall. Wait, that said Mr. Power? What sort of gun mod is that? Ooh, this... Ooh, I'm in a restricted area. Unauthorized personnel in restricted areas will be shot on site without question. You can either fight, sneak, or use the holographic shroud to get through restricted areas. Post-mortem fines will be paid by the closest living relative. <coughs> ID Groundbreaker. Okay, so... Dervish Mist. Ambidextrine. Adrena Time. Huh. Is this just where they keep all the drugs, I guess? Shears. Metalysis gel. Metalysis gel is probably the better way of pronouncing that. Optional medical bay keycard. Is there anyone else in here? I can't quite tell. Hey guys, watch, watch out. Move. Okay, cool. So we, we can get in here. And not be seen, I think. Is there anything? Honestly, doesn't seem like it. Hmm. There also appears to be enemies, like, right outside this door. Never mind. Okay, they're in there. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Alright. We're out. We're out. Don't need to be, uh... Why in the architect's name would you say that? It's just that you're real... grouchy. Right all the time? I'm not grouchy. I'm just... just... irritated by inane questions. Yeah, see, when you say it like that, it makes me wonder. Oh. Poor Parvy D just wants to be friends with the vicar. And he's like, no, I have no time for your childish games. Hi. Unlock with rest and go key card. Oh yeah, I forgot I stole one of these. That's right. Well, what do we got? Some pre-sliced red. All oh, this is free. Skin tough, Ollie, blah, blah, blah. Huh. Yeah, I stole this off a of body or something, I believe. So that ended up working out. Got access to someone's room that's not even our own and stole all their food. There's grime on the walls. What a fantastic place to live. Excuse me. Bypass shunts. Thank you. Why would I ever buy them when they're just laying on top of trash cans? Hi, bud. Hi there. We, uh... What do we got over here? A bunch of nanners. Use this terminal. Pay to view movies, pay to view serials. Access guest messages. From Veritas. Subject, be careful. One of UB squealers came asking after you. Wanted to know what you like to drink, who you talk to, what's your temperament like. Tried to pay me off. I took the bits and told her... Pack of lies. Watch your back when you get in. Don't want to find you in the waste disposal chute. To Iceman? 
I see. Been a while since I heard from you. You're on that long haul out of Dashkova right now. Hope it goes well. I got a space for you and yours to meet when you get back. It's just a storage room, but it's quiet and safer than the bar. Should be able to accommodate most of your folks. No fees or nothing, just let me buy you a beer. From Rizzo's PR subject. To McRed G. Mr. McRed, we have reviewed your proposal for the tenth time and still do not agree that Galactic Mushroom is an acceptable flavor for a Rizzo beverage. Even if we were to pursue the idea, the samples you sent us were dangerously hallucinogenic. The unopened package alone caused mayhem in our receiving bay. Please don't reach out to us again. Huh. So McRed was staying here, and he tried to get uh, a drink to be named... Ma uh, the mushroom one, yeah. Interesting. Hello. Yeah, you look different than the ones on, uh, the veil. Alright. So, it was this room that we haven't been in yet. Spacer, yep, there you are. That's you. Can I get into your safe? I mean, I could. I don't think the people here would like that very much, but I, I certainly could. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. I see. Phineas sent me. He said you could sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Yeah, I don't have 10,000 bits. No one's ever found my bits lacking. Tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Seeing as it came from an outpost called Roseway. Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Say no more. I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Abandoned outpost, corporate secrets. Got Don't it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. What other jobs do you know about? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Okay, what have you got for sale? Won a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Huh. Oh, I, I leveled up apparently. 
Uh, sour candy shell around a sweet purple berry flavored center. So I can't get any of this stock, which doesn't seem too interesting anyway. Salvager's Helper. Spacer's Choice, 480 DPS. And it does corrosion damage. That's a really good gun. That's a very good gun. Salvager's Helper fires a hailstorm of corrosive bullets. The loading mechanism is complex, resulting in long reloads. Oh, its reloads are very long. I wonder how fast it shoots, too. I mean, it's a handgun, so it must shoot as quickly as... My other handgun, but that's hands down the best gun, like pistol, I've seen so far. Hmm. Because, like, nothing else can even compete with that. Not even that big LMG that I have. How much does it cost? 4000 Yeah, that's a little pricey. I'll keep you in mind, though, if I ever get a ton of money. Alright, let's explore some more. It took 10 minutes, well, more than 10 minutes, almost 15, just to get through that tiny little room over there. You know, so we don't get overwhelmed. I was thinking something we could do was we could go ahead and tackle this uh, current problem we just got from her. No one? Yeah, no one. Um, I was thinking we could go take care of this SOS signal right now. That way we don't get overwhelmed with the amount of quests I'm sure we're about to get from this massive town. But first, we must level up. All right, ranged. I could get stealth to 50. I could almost get dialogue to 60, but not quite. Heavy weapons. Let's see, what do I, what do I actually want to increase? Yeah, I'm not too into leadership, although I may, may raise it at some point. The inhaler heals you and your companions, but they get 30% of the healing effect. That's kind of nice. I don't, I'm not really interested in a companion kind of build, though. Ooh, I want the lockpick preview to see what's inside lock containers. That'd be nice. Hack auto mechanical distance. Hmm. Like, dialogue is my main thing, for sure. I don't really feel the need to increase my guns anymore currently. So, yeah, let's just go with dialogue. There we go. Uh, Points placed in a core skill melee will increase specialized skills up to rank 50. After rank 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills. Okay, so I, I see. So... If I put this here, okay, now Persuade is 50. Now I have to put points into just it to raise it up even more. And also has a chance to inflict Cower when you first damage a human target. Well, I definitely want Intimidate for sure. So, you know what, let's... Let's get those to 50. Okay, all of my dialogue uh, stats are at 50. Now, what would I want to raise? Probably stealth. Let's just put two more points in there. Sounds good to me. Codex. What did I get? Squatter's Journal. Yeah, okay. We already know about that. Well, apparently there's more things in the Codex, and I'll never find them, because it doesn't actually mark the different categories. Oh yeah, I can't leave. Damn it. Hey there, you mind stepping back? This charming little ship's been impounded and I'm afraid I can't let you near it till it's not. Uh I'm off. Have yourself a pleasant day. Yeah, we can't do anything about that because our ship's still impounded. That's right. I completely forgot about that. Hey, sir. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Yeah. Something I like to do in my spare time, you know, just run around the docking bays, the most exciting place here. 
Alright, through here we go. Okay, so I wanted to take that quest out early, but doesn't seem like that's going to happen. There's also the companion quest I have with um, Max. Let's see, find an acid steeper. Introduce Parvati, locate a security terminal on the ground breaker. Most track down scholar. Yeah. But that required that we get into security. Which seemed kind of hard, and I still don't know how to use the holographic thing. You know what? You know what? Let me let me look that up really quick. Just on my phone. How to use hollow outer worlds. Grab the item, make sure you have the right ID cartridge for the restricted area. Okay, so that's the problem. I don't have the right ID cartridge. Yeah, that's what I thought. But what was the button input to actually use it? Or will I just get a prompt when I enter the area? Let's see. Uh, the item... Da -da -da -da. Okay, so, hmm, maybe we could just find the correct ID cartridge just kind of around here. Move along. Or possibly we could steal it from someone. That would be you nice too. Steal, Mr. Max? And you were our vicar? Yes, but as I've repeatedly said, I was assigned there as a vicar. I was not a prisoner. I just can't believe you'd lie. I was not lying. It had no bearing on my ability to minister to my flock, and was therefore not worth mentioning. I see. Uh, okay, here's a Mardet ID cartridge. You have found an ID cartridge to use the holographic shroud. You will now be automatically disguised when entering the associated restricted area. So, is this restricted area one of those? Trespassers will be shot on sight and fined. Holographic disguise activated. Your holographic shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of interrogation to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out the more often you are interrogated. Okay... Okay, that's not where we need to be. I'm guessing we probably need to break into this place. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Eject con uh, docking records data cartridge. Security logs. Sublight put a bid on one of our impounds. Generous one, too. Negotiate for the usual finder's fee and then give Leela her salvage. Brawl at the Lost Hope, Freelancers versus the board. Freelancers 1, arrested a freighter captain with more bits than brains. Hawthorne's ship impounded by order of Udom Bedford. Still no clue why Hawthorne associates with that board snake. A guy from the back rays roughed up the moon kid, raving mad. Warned me that the moon was going to bring about the end times. He was flying high on whatever McRed grows down there. Got a sworn testimony that McRed was spotted at the resting go. Not that anyone will corroborate it. Reminder to keep an eye on Gladys. Detained a freelancer who was cagey about his business. Confiscated his personal belongings while we waited for questioning. Modified pistol, hatchet, metal hoop, prayer beads, and a locked container. Owner refused inspection. He fled before we could get down to it. Left his things behind, so they're stored in the back of the security station until the idiot shows his face again, which is likely never. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Oh, cool. So they, yeah, they get the uh, outfits as well. That's that's a neat detail. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. Just gonna go back here and check this out. Keep your sights out, friend. No, don't you come back here. Damn it. Damn it. Hi, are you coming to talk to me? Uh, sorry, sir. 
Hmm, it's probably too close to him to risk going over there. I can steal stuff over here, though. Get cartridges. There's another ID cartridge. I guess if I could have uh, gotten in here on my own and stolen that. Another one. Jeez, we have about a billion at this point. Okay, is that guy leaving or is he coming over here? He is indeed leaving. Okay, so now I can head back over here. Let's go ahead and close that and let's just loot everything while we have the opportunity. Right, control armor, bit cartridges, bam, bam, bam. Impact hammer, light ammo. Okay, now go, 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 go. What is that? OSI prayer beads. That was close. All right. Seal the hoop. Stogie Slims. Cool. Now let's pick this. Oh no. Okay, th but this would put me outside of the restricted area. I think? Or, that's, or is that a different restricted area? <laughs> I'm not sure. But we're kind of in it now. I'm pretty sure I could talk my way uh, out if either of these characters um, caught me. So... Don't really think I have to worry about that. Hey, guy, come interrogate me. Hey, I saw that. Hey, hey, what sorry. Do you think you're doing? Uh, nothing at all. Whatever I want. I was just leaving. Just don't complicate my job, okay? There we go. Your shroud. Your shroud. Shroud. No, not my shroud. All right. So we want to talk to this character because she apparently has bounties. Hi. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. I'm interested in that McRed brownie. Where can I find him? Last tip we got pointed toward the back base. You want the reward? Do the legwork. I'll take the poster. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or as lucky lighter as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. I can steal his lighter and potentially uh, get away with uh, getting the bounty. So what's this like, working security detail on a space station? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? Yeah. Fine, fine. Then get to business or get moving. What bounties do you have available? Still waiting to hear back on that bounty for McRed. Out of side. Not much else. Groundbreaker's keeping calm at the moment. Ah, I see. What's a Mardet? We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the crossing, you know. Why Mardet and not guard or officer? The original force was made up of a marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailwork Fleet. Folks started calling us Mardets because it was easier to say. Guess it stuck. Ah, that explains it. I couldn't help but notice the bouncy posting on Phineas Wells. The outlaw scientist fella, right. The board's had it out for him for ages. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear it. Got it. Glad to hear it. Anything else? Yeah, we already knew the answer to all those other questions. I'll be on my way. And out we go. So those those areas are basically made for me. Assuming no I can... Saw me trip over that, right? So, because my persuasion is so high. Why does it... Why is it taking me to Gladys? Give the data cartridge to Vicar Max. Oh, yeah. Hey there. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. 
I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? You hesitated there, Vicar. What aren't you telling me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding them. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? This all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. You're doing some illegal shit, Max. And I will find out what it is. Eventually. Alright, so... The Empty Man, we don't know where to do that yet. We still have to talk, introduce Parvati to that person. He found entries on Hawthorne's terminal regarding his attempts to turn Sam to Hawthorne seemed to place Sam Sud steeper with an acid steeper, but never picked it up up the part from Roseway. Uh, uh, talked to Dr. Wanda Dorset in the sick bay. Viewed the stress signal recording on your ship. And hunt down and kill Captain Mick Red. So those are the current side quests that we have at the moment. I think we can go ahead and and let, let's not change them right now. So we made a little bit of progress in the town. We went into the rest and go. We took care of Max's side quest. And now I guess we have Spacer's Choice. Bells, shells, and all these other things back here. Ooh, pancakes. I could go for some pancakes. Borscht beans. All these things sound fantastic. But I think this is a good spot to go ahead and end this episode off. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.